teams, welcome to the opening of the 2022 President's Cup. Nine teams, two zones, battling to reign supreme over Anguilla's football. The prestigious President's Cup will give each team one last chance at bragging rights. A chance to earn a piece of silverware. A chance to win big financially. The President decides the format. The President chooses the prize. The President decides the venue, but the winner is determined by you. $10,000 cash prize, one winner, and four weeks of football action. I can't wait to watch and enjoy this exciting tournament. I challenge all teams to express themselves, display their talents, not only for the fans and supporters in the stands, but for the world to see. Maintain high standards, play fair with dignity, and may the best team win. $10,000, one cup, one winner, and a 10000 grand bingo at the finals. This is the President's Cup. Play ball. President's Cup coming to you from the Raymond E. Gishard Technical Center right here in Rainbow City, Anguilla in the British West Indies via AI Live Broadcast and your commentators this evening in this mouthwatering encounter, the Rowing Lions versus the Attackers FC is Tony Fleming and Doc Bryan. Doc, um, what are your thoughts on this match and um, uh, what are we going to be in for we're seeing where is that the player there in finley yes it is there's yes. Right okay uh, so see quite a number of players um, who would have been starring for the attackers the like of chadwick samuels and then those um, players who were through uh, not being able to make the starting lineup for the uh, attackers fc and um, this is certainly going to be a good match and an interesting counter for these two teams. As well, this does certainly shape up to be a very interesting encounter. And it will be, it will be a very good game to say the least. The Roaring Lions, uh, they have uh, the man Jay Nabbott. Jay, he has returned uh, back to the fold. He's in the starting lineup, the number five, along with Oleandre Curiel in goal. Marvin Esky in the number 22. He'll partner to Farry Smith, the captain, and the number four for the Roaring Lions. Yariel Fleming is the number 30. And Denville Gums is the number 26. Jarvis Jones is the number 15. He'll probably be in the midfield, along with Tyreek Lake, the number 32 as well as Keanu Richardson, the number 19. Uh, they will have Jamal Jelly, uh, the number two, uh, but most importantly for them, uh, the number 11, uh, Oliver Screechy Walker, starts today. Yes, certainly, as you were hearing the uh, theme song to this encounter here this afternoon, and it's good to see Van Posty in the middle taking charge of this encounter. Fourth official seems to be Albert Burton. Uh, Van Posty is assisted by um, Hilton and uh, Brown. 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 Yes, so uh, and we are looking for a good match, not only from these two teams, uh, these from the officials as well. 
um, because a good good officiating really brings a good match uh, to our spectators and to our viewers. That. What for the attackers FC? Just one change from their previous encounter. The man Chief One Lloyd is yes. back and he is in for Rashim Thompson. Their full lineup reads Hakeem Beard is the number six. Javiel Brooks is the number 14. He will partner Joel Orozco, the number 25. Lloyd will probably play at a fullback on uh, the uh, left side. While uh, they will have Randy Gomez, of course, in a goal for them. Hassan Mason will slot in to the midfield area. And he will uh, be there with the aforementioned Bear, uh, as well as their new signing, Kiroy Reed, who's played very well. Uh, then it will be Riley off the left. It's going to be Gaza Isaacs to the right. And uh, Ricardo John, uh, he'll be playing up front. What are your thoughts, though? And Javon, would Javon be playing at, um, at left back? I suspect he'll be playing at left back I... today. Oh, uh, he might play at right back actually because Keon Lee will be playing at left back. That's, well, his, that's been his position. Uh, yeah. But you know, Lloyd is naturally left footed. Well, he's, and he's he will be playing at, at left back, Lloyd. And it looks like Lee will go over to the right side. I am not too certain about that change though uh, because I think Ra Rashi Rashi or is it Rashid? It is Rashid. Uh, Rashim is a more of a defensive player well, than. Um, than uh, Lloyd, uh, I mean, you would have done some work with Lloyd. Uh, you probably would know more about his skill set at uh, that position uh, as opposed to uh, more better than I will do. But um, uh, that could be a, a weak area there for the attackers, if you ask me. Well, well I'm seeing something. I don't know how much I like it. So I, I won't say it quite yet. Well, we see. I'm seeing something, and I don't know how much I like it at all. At all. Uh -huh. I don't know if I agree with it. If Rashim has been uh, your natural right back, is it playing right back for you all the time? No sense changing it and changing up everything uh, in a game as big, big as, as this, this certainly. just to try and accommodate one player. And when attackers break from their huddle, uh, I will show you exactly what I'm talking about. Joel Orozco at right back. is playing at right back. And they so put Mason uh, at, at centre back and Lee into the midfield. Yes, that's, uh, I don't know how much I like it at all. I am totally 100% agreeing with you. Uh, as much as Lee has a really good motto, He's not one of those players who can handle and passes the ball very well. I think Mason probably would have done a better, more defensive, a better job than, um, especially in front of central defense, than Lee would. Precisely. And, um, well. If I change up everything uh, well, in a game like this, especially shifting Joel Orozco to right back when he's one of one of the best center backs in the league oh, well. i don't get the move at all there uh, by uh, the coach Khalid brooks well if the roaring lions are uh, looking at what we are seeing here i am certainly sure that they will certainly do exploit and i don't think too as well that Roscoe is the fittest and the fleet footed the of the defenders player. on the wing he, uh, to be playing fastest. that. And he has got Jay to contend with. So, exactly. all in all, play would have started. Not one to usually disagree with many coaching moves uh, so blatantly as it's played quickly looking for Ricardo John. Hit it clear. I must say, I don't know about this one. If it works, if it works, it's genius. Yes, yes. If it doesn't, you have to question it. And you have to question it strongly. Because why change a centre-back partnership that has worked for you? Why change the full-backs that have worked for you? You shifted around your entire defensive line to accommodate one player. 
you see, it's usually it's a good ball over the top. It will find it to the target as well. He can't get the volley goal with there, guys. Yes, and um, a bit sleeping and sloppy there at the back. They certainly should be looking for that ball coming over the Roaring Lions and um, will definitely need to get more quickly out on the ball as well. The uh, transition so far has been very slow, but the attackers um, really um, prolific in, in attack. Yes, this one is going to get past the intended target and special can clean up. Here comes a foul and a free kick in favor of the Roaring Lions. Is that playing in where the number three sir? Is that DK? So there's a Denver Gum. Interesting. <laughs> uh, well, uh, he did score last game, so. <laughs> well, I didn't know. I have I've, I've been out for a couple of games, so I didn't know that he would have made the transition or the transfer. Well, I think this is his first game. Well, his second game playing for the Lions. And I think that may show how, how much the injuries have affected them, how needy they are for players. Because Gums, he, he was really a bit part player for the Diamonds FC. Yes, he yes. wasn't really the most consistent of starters. Yes. Then, he has quite a bit of speed. Um, he, he's very fast, yeah. but I don't know how natural of a footballer he yeah, really is. He lacks, yeah, he lacks, um, you know... Some ability, well, hopefully he will get that, um, playing with the likes of those other players as well. And, um, you know, giving the opportunity to be playing on the biggest stage of things. See, that's a good thing about the Roaring Lions because they possess so much quality. They can plug and play players wherever they need them and not really lose uh, any overall quality. They, they may lose some individual quality, but... Nothing really overall. Uh, where guys, uh, you, you could see them starting in guys like Jaden Laurent at left back, or maybe a, a Delic at, at right midfield, or you know, just plugging in guys wherever they're needed where somebody is missing and not really losing uh, overall quality of the side so due to how much quality they possess all over the pitch. The likes of Tafari and Marvin and Tyreek and Screechy and Jaden and Jelly. So much quality in that side. Yeah, we've seen is Jarvis Jones playing here at um, right back. So Jarvis um, is playing <laughs> right back. We've seen where uh, the likes of, what's his name there, Cameron Lloyd um, being slotted there. So, so how can a players have had to start in at right back? Uh, this is a good ball looking for Screechy, but Lloyd clears. Uh, due to the man uh, Shamari Bryan being on foul and receiving medical treatment for an injury. And with Tariq John being on foul and currently as well. Uh, yes. And with Keon Woodley being on foul and as well. Uh, <laughs> their fullback position has suddenly gotten very thin. Uh, and with there being no Keeney Brooks Bell, who's their man, yeah. who they plug wherever, and they've been forced to put CJ there, they've had to put Fu there, and now it's been Javis Jones as of recently playing at right back, and the area of Fleming uh, been doing a lot of work at left back. And of course, the area is a natural forward. You have to play where you need it. And right now, the team needs fullbacks. They are stretched for depth when it comes to fullback. This could find Ricardo John here, and a rare poor touch by Ricardo John. Yes. Beard. Beard. Beard is through. What a save by Oliandri, but he can do absolutely nothing about the follow up. And in the sixth minute no. of play, Hakeem Beard has given the attackers a one goal to nothing lead. And similarly, um, we would have seen here where a beautiful save, spectacular save there from um, Ollie. And no help there again. Sleeping the defense there for 
the attackers FC and that play really started from the careless playing of Jaden Abbott there on the uh, left side really um, making a meal of the ball not passing it off early um, putting his uh, team under severe pressure and they weren't able to at least clear the lines and uh, being made to pay dearly for, for it here this, this evening uh, Doc but what I will say in favor of the Roaring Lions is that the fact that some of the senior players, the likes of Tyreek and Spritchy Walker, they applauded Ole Andre after the fact for that brilliant save because that, that was a really good save down quickly to his right. He just could do nothing about the follow up, didn't have the support of his defenders. Yes, yes. They were a bit slow to react because Hakeem Beard just waltzed through pretty much unimpeded after the ball took the deflection. Free kick to the Lions. Taken short. Shift it wide. That's not a good touch at all. And Reed is going to try and send John through. Dealt with by Marvin. Throw in to the attackers. And early on, you can see Tafari is just a bit frustrated. Reed. Beard. Looking for Riley. Riley this possesses Jarvis Jones. That's a good touch there again by Lee this time. Well cut out by Mason. Walker. Mason. Deflected. Jones. Centrally. It's a good looking ball. It finds Screechy Walker. Pulled back brilliantly. But for some reason or another, that seems to be a fault of a looks like a man Jelly there. For some reason or another, was a Jelly was a Keanu, I'm not certain. But they keep taking that extra touch in the six yard area instead of pulling the trigger first time when necessary. Well, you cannot want a better layoff than that and have no idea what Just Jelly shoot. was trying to do. Just what, shoot. What was he trying to do? Just put your foot to the ball. Just shoot. <laughs> you're, you're, you're at oh point blank range. You're six yards out. Just shoot. They just like that extra touch in the six yard area. As this one goes high and wide, and I have never understood that because uh, it's been a fault that I've seen uh, come multiple times for the Roaring Lions. Uh, when it's not Screechy Walker, they don't have the most natural finishers in the forward line, uh, and it tends to get a bit difficult for them uh, when it comes to finishing chances. No, that was the perfect chance to get back on equal term. Oli, um, Doc, and... Couldn't get a better chance uh, well, than that if you asked for really it. Really couldn't get a better chance than that. If you, could, if you could have drawn up a chance to get, that would have been the chance you want. Point blank range on your stronger foot, six yards out in the middle of the goal. You couldn't ask for a better chance. Here's Abbott. Abbott trying to go centrally. Mason deals with it. Orozco. It's the one two. One thing we know about Joel Roscoe, he is very comfortable with the ball at his feet. Very adept at going forward. You know how natural it is. You do see it a bit in the international game. When it comes uh, to the global scheme of things, uh, coaches opting to put some of their center backs at fullback just to fill a need defensively. We saw France today. They've been playing Jules Kunde, a natural center back for. Is it Sevilla still? I'm not sure if he still plays for Sevilla. Because there were transfer rumors surrounding him. They've been playing him at right back all tournament. And it has worked for them so far. But the thing is, um, the thing is, it's that the you really need to take your chances when they come. Because look at that first goal today from um, France. <laughs> okay? And as well, the second goal as well. But... Uh, here we see in this encounter here a perfect opportunity laid right on the plate. Absolutely no problems at all just to really just get the ball on target. 
<laughs> so, I haven't really been uh, watching too much of La Liga in recent years. So yes, Jules Kunde, he has uh, made the move to Barcelona from Sevilla. He was a Sevilla last season. Uh, did make the move to Barcelona. I did see some transfer speculation surrounding him. They didn't quite keep up to date with exactly what happened. So he has made the move to Barcelona. <laughs> Not how much he has uh, been playing over at Barca. Because uh, they have had a good start to the season and they've been uh, uh, relying a whole lot on Eric Garcia playing mm -hmm. a centre back for them. As Ricardo John is trying to come in there. They've been uh, doing a lot of uh, usage of the man Ronald Araujo and Eric Garcia, as well as Andreas Christiansen. Uh, I don't know how much Jules Kunde has actually played uh, at centre back as it's going to find John here. This could be dangerous because he has skinned the man uh, trying to slot it across uh, towards Gaza. Lee will find a beard, a beard to Riley. Riley goes back to Baird, and Baird shifts it across, but it's going to be a foul and the free kick. Not too sure about that foul, uh, though. Um, maybe probably a makeup call for the for, for the one up here, but this that that uh, I I well Van Post is in the better position than I am, so okay. yes. See if you license the referee. What to give his get his conquer calf license. Probably the, be the best referee we have, not probably, the best so, referee we yes. have on island. Yes, yeah, certainly. One certainly. of the best referees in the region. Uh, the perfect man in the middle um, to keep the things, uh, keep things right and check. And not to know this, going, this is going to be a real... Um, Chippy encounter between these two teams, and um, uh, both of these teams won't want to give anything away so far. The attackers has gotten good ball, uh, can't be directed goalward. Yes, uh, so it's going to be a, is that going to be a corner kick. It is, seems so. Yes, well, this is one thing I do like about Ricardo John is that anytime the ball is in the opposition third. It's about very wide position because he stretches, forces one of the defenders, one of the center backs, to come wide with him, and then op that opens up the midfield area for one of his guys to operate. But for me, in that area, I wouldn't, I would not engage. Falls to the back post. What a volley! What a, what a volley! Well, that was a quarter of paint away from going in. All oh, that uh, World Cup shot there from Richardson. <laughs> They're really putting laces through the ball, man. Just to skim wide of the upright and it dipped very well, Doc. Um, wow, interesting. Everything about that was right, except it may have been a, a centimeter, a centimeter wide. Everything else was Perfect. Gomez takes the goal kick. Yes, and as I was saying, um, the John usually comes wide, but I wouldn't engage him if I'm in central defense. You bring a midfielder and you have him at least, not man marking, so to speak, but um, shadow. Yes. So it gives, it gives the player uh, an opportunity to get to the ball. And not only that, if he do beats that, that, that challenger, you have more than enough cov coverage to, um, to, to, to really defend well. Lions recycling possession. Challenge it will result in a free kick. I believe he may have went in with the studs showing. Now John has just walked over to the other side of the field. One of, one of the one of the problems I, I I usually have though with the two central defenders for um, Lions in that of 
of Marvin and Tafari, what happens is that in terms of the reading and the coverage for one another, they need to work on that a lot more. You find one would go at the ball, and then when he's beaten, the other one is no way close by to clean up the, the damage. So that is something that they uh, would have to work on in terms of their partnership in central defense. When that player goes or that player challenge that attacker, you know for sure if the attacker do gets around that particular player, you're right in the vicinity to either clean up, to clear, to just pick up the, the loose arm, the, the, the heavy touch, so to speak, and try to negate the one-on-one -on -one attack that we usually see for most parts. Free kick. So if there was one thing you could nitpick, really, but the Lions defensively, when they're at the best, is that they don't know how well uh, Tafari and Marvin suit each other playing in a back, in a back two together. I, 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 I quite like really seeing uh, when Tafari will play, play with maybe a guy like Keeney Brooks Bell uh, at centre back and uh, provide a bit more contrast uh, to each other in terms of their playing styles. Uh, so it's going to be shifted out wide. Comes this is possession. And recycled by the Roaring Lions. Further wide. Finds Jones. Jones. Ships in a deep one looking for Screechy. Dealt with. And can turn and clear. And has been Lions controlling the possession, but. It's the attackers who are up one goal to nil right now. A goal coming in the fifth minute of play off the boot of Hakeem Beard. Uh, so that's a good uh, bit of composure there by Tafari. Jones. Gums. Uh, it's cut out rather easily. John is on side with one man to beat. John will beat him. Uh, beats him for pace. But he's around to the outside. Comes back inside brilliantly. Still Ricardo. John laid off. And it's missed from eight yards out. Somehow. See? Perfectly what I was saying. Again, um, you have Tafar, uh, you have Tariq, uh, you have Keanu, and the ball is, was brought down here by Tafari, and there is nobody picking, um, slotting in his position. You would think that the defender over on the far side, is that um, who's playing on the far side? Uh, that'd be Yariel Fleming. I, that, it's interesting. I, while you would want to plug players anywhere, Yariel is not a defender. No, definitely not a defender by trade. Not natural to his position at all. Hmm. Well, that was a glorious opportunity there to go 2-0 up. Um, <laughs> Akeem Beard, I think I already scored. <laughs> well, 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 to miss from eight yards out. It's really that close. As he's been bundled over there by Reed. Uh, that's going to be a free kick, and uh, it definitely hit. The reaction and that's good refereeing by Harding getting right in between them, uh, separating them immediately. That's good refereeing there by Harding. Uh, and uh, I wonder if there'll be further action taken against Reed. It will uh, be a yellow card uh, to the man uh, in Kiroy Reed. I think that that's that's um that's not good playing at all, though. That's not good playing at not all. A, not a good challenge by Reed. Not a good reaction. Good refereeing, however. Yes, yes, yes. As he knew he had to step in here before it escalated. He took control of the game when the game was starting to get a bit out of hand. He's calmed things right back down. And those are the type of referees you need in these, these types of games. Referees that will take authority, take control. Free kick to the Roaring Lions. Mm -hmm. 
This ball in, cleared. Only as far as Marvin. Shifted it wide. Drives won a goal here, but easy work for Randy Gomez. Good shot from is that DK. Good shot. Denville comes there. I'm surprised the men have opted for Gums to play at fullback because we know when he was with Diamonds FC, he may have played over at fullback. That's a good move, but Screech is not happy at all because that's not where he wanted it. Shielded out for a goal kick. Yes, I, I, I wouldn't fault um, Jarvis there, really, because he did go wide enough. But there was nobody on the far side. Um, probably would have uh, taken a lot of him to cut it back there, uh, being challenged and um, trying to at least really play with the, the lines as well. So uh, I don't think they can be too hard on the young man there in Squeegee. Good work there by Baird. Who finds Lloyd. Lloyd going forward towards a streaking John, but... Well, his best ball at all, the AJ Vaughan Lloyd. But I must say, good game so far, though, uh, Doc. Um, the attackers has really gotten the, the open goal early. And aside from that chance that they could have gone 2-0 up. Riley. Riley, good skill moves. But Lee gives it away a bit cheaply. Good work, however, by Beard, who finds John. John couldn't get the turn and may have gotten something to his face. Murphy Harding tells him get up because he was right there. He saw exactly what happened. May have gotten a, a trailing finger to the eye. Something along the, uh, that, those lines. This one is shielded and picked up by the attackers. John is back on his feet. I've been a bit dramatic. <laughs> what 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 sometimes I'm tempted to pass there. Sometimes players have to okay, you're feeling out the referee, all right, you realize that well um I'm not gonna get anything easy here. So if you notice Screechy needs to be uh, a lot more circumspect and together with the way he's playing. He's looking for calls that it's not, be, it's not there uh, based on what the referee have seen. And um, he's, he's losing quite a bit of his patience and his uh, awareness to play in, in, in this particular match. Oh, Screechy is a natural. Oh, oh, that took a deflection. <laughs> and Gomez, uh, luckily for him, it went right to where he was positioning himself. Screechy is a naturally strong and physically imposing forward. And so for him to be going down so easily in the challenges, he won't get those calls because he's a big man, Screechy. He's a physically imposing man. He won't get those types of calls, those easy calls for little pushes in the back. Again. Uh, little nudges. He won't get those because there's not enough contact to bring somebody like you down. So you, you, you're just embellishing really what's not really there. Same thing with Ricardo John, he's trying to get those easy little calls, Referee Harding, not allowing it at all. Because they're both big strikers, big strong strikers. They won't get those little pushes, those little shoves. There's not enough to bring them down. Will be a free kick. And yes, and what you would have to realize that I've seen it, he's done it on three occasions No one, you gotta say, well, okay. Um, I would definitely have to make this a lot more clear that I am actually being fouled uh, to get the call. Uh, uh, just giving, a, giving up just a little bit too easy. Six minutes of play. We are still one goal to nail. Goal was scored in the fifth minute of play. Off the boot of Hakeem Baird as Randy Gomez who has really taken over this number one job for the attackers remember when he first came in it was Hakeem Tittle who was the attackers goalkeeper 
Uh, so let's give it away cheaply by Lloyd uh, and Abbott. Cuts it back for Screechy. Brilliant touch by Screechy. Good save, Randy Gomez. Uh, but not the best finish by Screechy. Poor, poor finish. Poor finish. You would want to, you'd want to belt that ball in the back of the net. You ain't giving Randy Gomez no chance at all to really just go along in a proof uh, fashion uh, and, and really uh, pretty a tame shot, if you ask me. Didn't have the paw behind it, all, all the accuracy really. Not a screechy finish. Screechy can be so lethal on his day. Well, you can't say it. they can't say anything at all because they've they've had two oh, opportunities. He's giving it straight to Ricardo John. John will turn and find Riley. Well, that's good defending before Riley could get there. As it was given away cheaply by it looked like Javis Jones. Walker. Great touch. Need some support. Need some help. Good strength by Screechy. Very good strength by Screechy Walker. Still Walker going along. Walker couldn't get back. And eventually Keon Lee steps in well. A beard across the reed. And Ray turns and shifts this one ahead of Gaza. Well, Gaza has not gotten himself really involved in yes, this encounter um, so far. As uh, Beard was trying to intercept there. And it will be taken now by Ricardo John. Uh, John can drive. Uh, John finds Gaza. Gaza's fast. Gaza tried to cut this one back towards John. Uh, but I felt he may have been able to drive towards goal with it if he wanted to. Again, uh Tyreek Lake there again. Just, just release the pressure. Because you know they are going to come hard on you. Don't look um, to be bailed out by the rest. Just release the pressure and regain position again. They certainly definitely have to play a lot smarter. We saw where that goal did break um, from the touch from J. Here we see Chip to the an back opportunity post. again. It's taken now by Riley. Riley. That's good defensive work. That's very good defensive work. Out for a throw in. Because Riley scored from a similar position in the last encounter versus the Diamonds FC. Yes, we have not seen uh, Gaza getting into the game that much. The play is more concentrated towards John uh, on the central. And so we've not seen where he has been given a lot of opportunity to. And I would... I would John trying to turn as far as Lee. Lee, of course, the former Roaring Lions man. It's the attackers now, Keon Lee. And up against his former side. Yes, as, as, as I was going to say, if, if I was attackers for sure, I would have been peppering Gaza to take on a not natural defender in Yariel over on that side. are still recovering from injury but we do know that Ariel isn't a defender Ariel is a forward it's not even like he's a midfielder starting into defense he's a forward he's a winger slash striker well we have seen four glorious opportunities and we've got one goal <laughs> so uh, all things being equal we should have been four goals in all squared at two piece. Yes. And and Doc, um, sometimes the one nil, uh, some of the hardest um, games that you can have, especially if you would have conceded very early, you were thinking about, okay, well, I have more than enough time to get through and if you realize that time just keep chipping away and ticking away and uh, no opportunities here come the Lions looks like Jelly there shifts it wide he could use Javis if he wants to know Jaden will drive now mm. shifts it wide to Javis Jones Jones looking to send uh, Jelly on the run is it yes and uh, out for a throw in. And and in 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 my opinion, you're going to Jarvis Jones. Why don't you go early? 
<laughs> he's going to use him. Yeah, he's already running. Not when he had stopped and taken up a position. Because then he wouldn't have been able to break at pace against Lloyd because Lloyd is naturally faster than Jones, but Jones had the momentum going that way. Right, and you're giving the defenders time to set exactly. when you when you holds the holds the position up. Because the ball initially was meant for Jones by Jelly. But Jaden Abbott, who was in the position as well, took it before it could get to Jones. Throwing now for the Roaring Lions. It's going to be taken there by uh, Jones. Picked up uh, by Abbott. Keanu. Ariel. Back with Tafari. Keanu goes back to Tafari Smith. Smith shifts it across. Now finds a Jelly. Back to Jelly. And put it away. It's Riley. Breaking back that flair. He, he is back in form, Kadeem Riley. That's the Kadeem Riley we knew when he came to Anguilla. So skillful, so tricky, and so good at finishing. As he has Gaza. Not for attacker's throw. I think the, good, the switch in um, switching uh, DK over on that side might work in the favor of the Roaring Lions because he's fast and Gaza is fast and he can certainly help uh, Yariel on that side as well. But um, can't say we have been starved for action on both ends in this encounter here, Doc. Well, certainly we haven't. Here come the attackers. Trying to find space for a cross. Shifts it, shifts it again, and it gets to the back post for Javon Lloyd. Lloyd, back across, and it's put in. That's a brilliant ball. And it's a Gaza Isaacs who has gotten himself on the score sheet. 2-0 to the attackers. Look at that. Poor defending again. Very, very poor. Javon had... And a scrap is about... And uh, you can see the getting in each other's faces for some reason. Beard uh, and uh, is that Tafari? But Javon had all oh, the time. year and day and time. When am I going to do this? Do I want to shoot? Do I want to pass cross? And look at the look at the acre of space that he found the player in. In the box, you can't give anybody that much time. You can't give Lloyd that much time, and you certainly couldn't give Gaza that much time. Chipped across there by Lloyd, and he could make no mistake. Gaza Isaacs, he's getting himself back on the score sheet. We said he was quiet up to this point, but he has awoke him now. Gaza Isaacs makes it two goals to nil. Yes, that's sloppy defensive work there on the road lines. Randy Gomez, who I believe may be captaining of the attackers today. He's having a conversation uh, with the referee. Poor, poor coverage there. Jarvis Jones um, on this side of defense really having a field day. Not, to, for me, not really de a defensive-minded uh, player and doesn't know when to challenge, where to challenge, where to force the... The player, all the, uh, I, I, Lloyd had. <laughs> Basically, that was difficult for him because uh, when you're defending, you're taught never give the player the inside, give him the wing. But Lloyd is left footed, so if he gave him, oh, it's given away to Ricardo John. Right, but. And, Yes, and I hear you kind of hard, right? Because the ball did come off the defender. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, that ball came off <laughs> the defender. So, so. Well, but he, if he gave Lloyd the wing, that was a stronger left boot. So he, it, it was difficult for Jones to decide which one he wanted to do. 
opted to give Lloyd his weaker right foot and Lloyd picked out a very good pass. But, but listen now, which is better? To give him his strong foot, scoring at a tight angle, away from goal, or to give him the weak right foot for him to pass in the center of goal? And you have the big wide open space. Which, which would you say? <laughs> a very fair point. And your opponent's proven correct because Lloyd picked out a very yes. good pass. And I don't know where the defending was from Yariel because Yair Gaza is Yariel's man. So four. And that's going to be a foul by Lee. And good sportsmanship being shown there. Lee and Richardson, former teammates. Yes, the, certainly the Roaring Lions have nothing to, um, to be vexed about here because it has been, well, almost three errors uh, that has seen them not only being down 3-0, but two goals to nil, and has had two perfect, glorious opportunities to really be back on level terms. So if they lose this game, they will say, well... We didn't put away our chances. It's their own fault. And we defended poor. I must say, the Lions, they are without their key piece. Not one of their key pieces. Their key piece. Man, Jermaine Hughes. No Jermaine Hughes for them. And we know how much he makes uh, the yes, Lions Yes, 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 yes. He pretty much controls everything in the center of the park. He doesn't give up <laughs> doesn't give much. Up much. He's very intelligent, fast, fit, strong. Can pass. Can, uh, he's missed everything, Jermaine Hughes. He does everything so well for the Lions, and they miss him every time he's not there. What a touch there by Ricardo John. He's been shown inside as well. Picks a good pass looking for Baird. And picked up by Oleandre Curiel. Oli you know, has uh, um, really not been given the, the support from his defenders at all. Um, yeah. Facing up, oh, and Riley stopped the runner. John was looking for him to continue the runner and curl it centrally, but Riley had stopped because he was fearing going offside. Mason. Ricardo John, can't turn there, pressuring high, and pressuring illegally, says a referee Harding. <laughs> well, the Lions here uh, do have a pretty deep bench, it's a deep bench full of very young players. Do have experience somewhat in the line of Carolina Warner. Well, I can tell you, I think Mikai would have buried one of those chances for sure. Most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> they have Mikai Connor on the bench. Yes. Have young Christian Williams on the bench. Yes. Danica Jackson on the bench. Danica Moore on the bench. And young Bruno Burgos on the bench as well. Don't know how healthy Shamari Bryan is. He's amongst the substitutes today. As well as uh, Jaden Laurent. Uh, that to me, uh, though, Jelly has been very, very disappointing. Um, I don't know whether or not he's got a lot of time to play football or what have you, but he's not as sharp as he used to be at, at all, at all. And he's very, very ineffective so far in this encounter. The attacker's bench, it is a lot less deep, but I have some quality to come off it. Lights up Desroy Finley, the man Chadwick Samuel, Shakoi Reed, Cameron Tash, Rasheem Thompson. Certainly have quality, quality to come off the bench if need be, though they may not have the, the depth that the Lions may have. Well, they can certainly still get back into this game. We've seen them. It's not to say that they're not creating the chances. They have created the chances. But um, when you have found yourself a goal down, you have to make sure 
that you tighten up your defense and make sure that, okay, no freebies. We have seen where they, were, they allowed the attackers three opportunities. The, the attackers has taken two of those opportunities and um, they have dug themselves a pretty deep hole here, if you ask me. Because um, scoreboard pressure in terms of the clock can really <laughs> tend to get to you. It's definitely, you can go down in a game and start to panic. Yes. You really have to get back on level terms right away. And we saw that with Portugal when they played, was it Morocco, in the quarterfinal of the World Cup, if I remember correctly, where they went down early with the Yusuf and Nezri header. And uh, for the entire second half, they seemed to panic, trying to get back onto level terms. They didn't play football. And they ended up losing the game because they couldn't create anything. Yes. And... Um it's in terms of young team, cooler heads can prevail. Say, well, okay, uh, in part of the Roaring Lions, we've gone a goal down and um, certainly more than enough time because they would have conceded before the 10th minute of play uh, and really started playing well, created some opportunities, but for some reason. Uh, did not take their chances and when they were called into defense was very very sloppy at the back if you really ask me free kick again uh, to roaring lions pretty dangerous position for it this one chipped in uh. not at all to the back post wide of the target and that's another chance again an opportunity if <laughs> you Chance, <laughs> definitely chance. Well, just on the other side of Gomez, that's into the back of the net. There's definitely a chance. Well, World Cup final has been set. Yes, and um, it will either be repeat for Mbappe, our first time for Lionel Messi, and certainly show he will be bringing some magic <laughs> uh, there um, on Sunday, God's willing. But this game winds down to halftime. Player been given some a treatment, some treatment there. It's been quite tight contested game here this afternoon but this evening but uh, it's the attackers who are certainly feeling on the better side of things because they not only have one goal but two and uh, maybe just another 45 more minutes to say well let's put a cap on this they can kick the ball wherever they feel like until the 45 minutes is up most definitely attackers uh, they've just finished the chances that they've created uh, the Lions have been unable to do so as the Lions should have uh, two goals uh, in this one uh, Screechy should have finished definitely should have finished Jelly should, should have Jelly at should have get on target should at least hit the target for sure <laughs> Minutes of Argentine. So we'll have two minutes added to this uh, first half. The first 45 that has seen the attackers go up two goals to the good. Could this be a repeat of that very, very bad day mm. for the Lions where they lost some, was it five goals to two? Something along those lines. Or uh, will they have an answer in the second half? Have to wait and see what this game is. Very well poised for a dramatic second half.
Here come the attackers. This is poked through. Here come the attackers. Rolled past Oli into the bottom corner. And it looks like the man in Kiroi Reed, who has made it three goals to nail. And the Roaring Lions are just digging themselves into a deeper and a deeper hole. Again, um, I mean, I'm not too sure if it's 11 players playing all there because defensively these guys have looked really horrible. Real, real horrible. In defensive, the defensive shape, the defending has really been found wanting here this evening. It was a brilliant break there by the man Kiroi Reed getting himself on the score sheet as well for the attackers. It has not been the usual suspects. There's been no Riley. There's been no Ricardo John. But the attackers have found three goals and they have come from the boots of Hakeem Baird. Uh, the man Gaza Isaacs and Kiroi Reed just moments ago to give the attackers a three goal to nothing lead going into the halftime whistle. Yes, and certainly um, the only the only parts they have not really they've been very very disappointing here. The Roaring Lions finding themselves some three goals to nil down, and um, whether they can dig themselves out of this um, hold, I have no idea. But um, they have given themselves a mountain to climb. Whether they can climb this mountain and get to extra time at least, it's certainly going to be very, very difficult for them coming back from this position. 3-0 down. And if the attackers go on to lose this game, well, they would only have themselves to blame because they have given themselves every opportunity to really go to the uh, finals here on Sunday. Until then, we'll take you back to Master Control until you get the cue from us in about eight to ten minutes.
teams, welcome to the opening of the 2022 President's Cup. Nine teams, two zones, battling to reign supreme over Anguilla's football. The prestigious President's Cup will give each team one last chance at bragging rights, a chance to earn a piece of silverware, a chance to win big financially. The President decides the format. The president chooses the prize. The president decides the venue, but the winner is determined by you. $10,000 cash prize, one winner, and four weeks of football action. I can't wait to watch and enjoy this exciting tournament. I challenge all teams to express themselves, display their talents, not only for the fans and supporters in the stands, but for the world to see. Maintain high standards, play fair with dignity, and may the best team win. $10,000, one cup, one winner, and a 10000 grand bingo at the finals. This is the President's Cup. Play ball.
Good evening, good evening, good evening, and welcome back. Welcome back to live coverage of the second semifinals in this encounter. It's the Lions versus the attackers. Attackers certainly in the ascendancy and may have just done uh, just about all they could in the first half to really get a chance to grab that grand prize of twenty of ten thousand dollars they've certainly put themselves in a good position here and um i can really uh, it'd be difficult for me to see them losing this match from here um with the way the rowing lands are playing at the moment it's three goals to nil in favor of the attackers the commentators this evening it's Tony Fleming and Doc Bryan. We are just about getting ready to start the second half. Welcome back, Doc. Um, whether we'll see much of the same, or uh, whether we'll see uh, a difference uh, with the Rowing Lions, it's certainly going to be something to see here. Uh, but they have been very, very, very poor defensively and have dug themselves a deep hole that I'm not too sure they'll get out of this evening, Doc. I highly suspect we may see more of the same here in this second half because it has not been a good performance by the Roaring Lions at all today. They have uh, looked a bit slow, they've looked a bit lethargic and don't quite understand how the referees are going to start the game while the coach is still walking through yeah. the field of play. Oh, just taking the blessed time, but um, certainly the Roaring Lions, especially defensively, they have certainly been found wanting um, both on both sides of the wing back uh, for the most part, and even in central defense. I would want to think that um, Tafari and Marvin, they will certainly have to do a lot more uh, better work in terms of their cleaning up in um, defending the wing, uh, the, wing, the wing attackers as well. Uh, we've seen Jarvis Jones is not your regularly right back and you can see that because um, he's, he's not sure when to challenge, when to close down, when to cover. He's more of a, a, a central midfield player, uh, so to speak, and he's been asked to do some defending um, that's not working out too well for the Orion Lions at all. Well, Tony, the attacker, the Lions only put eight players on the field, which means only one thing. Three changes are coming at the half. Nico has mm -hmm. to change it, and he is going to change it drastically. Oh, Three halftime changes are about to be made for the Roaring Lions. It looks like the man Denville Gums is off the pitch, so he's going to be one of the players replaced. Trying to see the other two, maybe. It looks like number 15 for them has just come on. Number 15. Just come on to the field of play. So they have made uh, three changes. One of them seems to be... Looks like Dalik Moore. Uh, that's giving away a bit cheaply. Mackay Connor. It's on the field as well. Mackay has a come on since we're playing on the left flank. Yes, um, certainly. So that league is on, Mackay is on. Still can't quite see who the third player is who has come on to the field of play. He's certainly slotted himself but into. Is that. Dalik over there in the right and there. No, that Dalik is in central midfield. No, it's it's Dalik and Christian Williams. Yes, so on Christian, the number forty-seven. So it's Dalik has gone over to right back. Christian is coming to the midfield, and Mackay is over on the left flank. So he's brought on really his three most prized youngsters, yes. Dalik, Christian, and Mackay, hoping that they can change the game for the better for him. Hopefully, those changes work. Because they need energy. They need life breathed back into this one. Yes, they certainly do. Um, Kristen is very uh, adept at uh, and very skillful on the ball. We know Mikai Connor. He is certainly got an eye 
and a mount and a boot for goal as well. He would have scored the two goals in the um, the All Star game that they uh, played over the course of the weekend, and certainly looking to to um, to see whether or not he can pull a goal back there for the Warring Lions. This one will go behind. It will be a goal kick. As a so they would have taken off um, DK um, Jarvis. Jarvis and who the other player? Might have been oh, Jelly. Jelly. Yeah. This could be played forward for Ricardo John here, but there's not many centre backs who can run a straight for straight with Ricardo John. But two of them are Tafari and Marvin. Two of the fastest central defenders in this league. And that's the reason why I was saying, um, because of their speed, they would certainly need to play a lot more closer because they can certainly cover one another. What you find is that um, uh, when they're doing their business, they're just too far apart. When it's Marvin, um, Tafari is too far apart. When it's Tafari, Marvin is still too far apart. So not being able to complement as well as they could. Um, playing in central defense because they've certainly got the speed, they've certainly got the tenacity, but when you are up against the likes of the Gazas and the uh, Tariq Jan, who is pretty skillful as well, um, can maneuver, can weave his way, and uh, know how to dink and feint, you, you can be found wanting, especially from a defensive um, standpoint of things. Throw in it. Oh, free kick, rather. Will it be? Well, with the ball being the possession of uh, the attackers, FC. Free kick. Put it along. As the Lions now look to turn. The pressure being applied high up the field, but. Shifting by the young man and more to get out of it. Comes across out to Yariel Fleming. Yariel. That's a mistouch there by. Looks like we've been at Tyreek Lake. But it doesn't really come back to bite them. But Jaden Abbott can get it under control. It will be a throw in or two. The attackers FC. It's 5 p.m. Game starts on Sunday. And Doc, I certainly missed that one. I certainly have to catch it after. It's the Evan and musical arrangement. Five. So certainly missing the opportunity of that one. Well, it's going to be a good game. Whichever one of these sides goes on to face the Docks United. And I was digging suspicion that it may be the team in blue and white today. Yes, yes. Um, uh, no need to be forcing the pressure at all. And Orozco. And cheaply given away by Keanu. And it's going to be dangerous because Ricardo John is going to try to muscle his way onto this one. Del Twist. And I'll make this way over back with Roaring Lands and Defense. As Tyreek Lake is going to drive forward, finds Jaden Abbott. Abbott has a streaking Dalek Moore. Moore is driving. Moore trying to sing one in. It falls here for the Lions, not quite dealt with, and it's a shot taken. That's very disappointing. That's a good build up there from the youngsters there. I thought Dalik Moore could have maybe uh, taking maybe one, take one or two more touches and get inside the box before he unleashed his shot. He did so, but was blocked. But um, good build up there, good work from the young the, the young players.
Here come the Lions. Cut up by Orozco. Gaza. Now back to Orozco. Giving away cheaply there by Joel Orozco. He's not had a very good game at all there at right back. Mm -hmm. Not his natural position by any stretch of the imagination. And this is good fun, Ricardo. John, John running through. John has some company. John, oh, he's been given offside there by Dakari Brown. Well, I might be <laughs> sadly have to look at that one. But this time, though, I like the coverage there from Marvin and, and uh, Tafari. Though, when, when um, John cut. The ball back inside Tafari was right close enough to at least allow him to at least take a, a, a quick snapshot of a, of a shot before he was a judge to be offside. But that, that one looked pretty tight. And pretty close, I should say. Lloyd took way too long on the ball there. Dispossessed. And it should be a free kick. Well, Wobby will be a happy man. So will Denzel. <laughs> yes, I saw him at the park earlier this week and I said to him, why, Wobby, you going to lose? <laughs> 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 I guess I would have to pass for him tomorrow and say, yeah, tell you so. Uh, yeah, but um, all in good fun, all in good fit. I think the attackers have certainly played the better football in terms of the President's Cup so far, whether they can go all the way and uh, over come the ducks is said something else um, well, let's just say on paper there is no side better than the attackers FC none in this league on paper they are completely unbeatable yes. on the field you never know it's a different thing this one is thrown centrally and gets across to Orozco, who finds Reed. Reed driving. He scored already today, and he's trying to slip it through. That's good pressure by Hakeem Beard, and he can't keep it in play. Yeah. So far, we would have played some nine minutes going into the tenth minute so far, and. Uh, Warren Lions will certainly need to strike and strike early uh, to pull a goal back and give themselves an opportunity. But there have been very few and far between since the early parts of the first half. Leandro takes the goal kick. Goes straight to a blue shirt that will go for an audacious effort to try and catch Oleandre off his line. Uh, but didn't quite get the connection required. Just toss it to him right there. He can't. And it's going to be booted out of play. Is that Marvin? Yeah, look. Oh, Marvin. Well, you would have pulled something. I was thinking trying to run with the man in Hakeem Beard. May have just got, may have just pulled up. The training is very important in, in whatever sport you play. Uh, you do play a dark. Um, ability is one thing, but to get those paces in, to get the training in, I will certainly, and yes, I've seen Andrew. Good to see Andrew. Andrew is one of those players who um, comes through and worked with the Roaring Lions, would have played even one or two matches uh, for them on a number of occasions. Andrew is uh, a fitness instructor, trainer, a very aggressive player, and he probably saying well I think I've seen enough um, I don't think my team would be able to come back from this hole and so maybe taking an early night as well Not early because it's 18 minutes to 10 o'clock <laughs> yep and again 
game is not over quite yet, but the Lions need to do something and do something quickly. Because right now it's not looking good for them. Shifted out wide for Gaza. Orozco. Reed. And Mr. Medication between Gaza and Reed. Leads to the Lions getting the ball for a moment. And he was caught late. It's a very dangerous pass there from um, Yariel, <laughs> really passing it in the center of the field to that uh, the person of Keanu with two men on, whereas he had acres of space to play up the line. And I'm certainly sure that is what um, that is what Screechy is saying. Why are you going in field when you had players up the line? You know. So Screechy made it right back down into the defensive line uh, to get those to get his point across. Yes. Screechy has not been involved at all in uh, this second half. They have made they have made themselves some mistakes this evening that has really um, got them in this dilemma here. And, um, you can only plug and play so much until you start to lose quality and when. Yeah, yeah. When, when when you're having to shift around place positions uh, again, a poor again, pass by Ariel. It's much better there, however, from Ariel Fleming. Tariq cut up well by Beard, thrown to the lights. Uh, if you have to shift around so many players. We certainly have not seen the likes of Capel at all in this encounter. Uh, I uh, think Capel. Maybe stepping away for a bit. I know he was carrying an injury and he was saying that... Um, just wants you know, to, want to get fit for the regular season. He um, will give the youngsters a chance to really... They are certainly missing a number of players. The man, Max Vincent Fabian, definitely a miss as well. His energy off of the flank. Well, they're really missing the man they recently signed, and Stefan Feet could have man Fu. Well, missing as well. <laughs> I was I'm thinking whether or not Fu really wants to play in the football. Is he still in an island? Uh, the man Tariq Lake, who is off island right now. Uh, there's no Kevin Warner available for them. No Keeney Brooks Bell available for them. They are really missing a number of key players. Yeah. Most Jermaine Hughes is out with injury. And CJ, CJ Lloyd is out with yeah, injury. CJ is out with injury as well. He was playing pretty good at the back um, where, uh, the, where Jarvis Jones played this, so it was, uh, this, year, this afternoon. Yeah. Of course, the man. Oh, that's a good run here. Here comes Reed. 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 It's a very good ball. Looking for Gaza. Uh, but shifted off it by the defenders, and Ole Andre came out well. Of course, the Mario Prince who play, played for them last season at, in points. He is off island as well. But as a man, McKenzie. Who is also a file on that? As he's going to find Jaden Abbott here. What can Abbott do? Abbott! Abbott! Randy Gomez collects. Easy. That's too easy for Randy Gomez. Um, Such goes. a good goalkeeper, Randy Gomez. Very professional in the way he goes about things. But, uh, I, oh, oh, that's cheap. That screechy will not get past Orozco. What, what, that, what I do think, though, Doc, is that the, most of these guys play to his strength <laughs> and um, makes Gomez look, and he's a pretty good goalkeeper. As he gets over the head of Lloyd, yet again, Abbott, Abbott, looking for some support, being uh, dispossessed now. 
Nobody, Two players on there, man. Nobody saying man on. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna make that call. Here's some space now. If he wants to have a drive at goal, it's their chips on a cross. He didn't have enough time to take a touch and finish the way he wanted to. Put the man Mackay there. That's a good, good play there. That coming was that, that was that Christian. Show set the ball over, but it was a good ball. You know, Christian and Mackay have a pretty much telepathic yes. connection now. Opponents when they were in primary school, of course, Christian would have won the primary school league away for really a, with, with Valley Primary School. While Mackay, who was also in the final, came second with Aurelia Kelly Primary School, playing on the roaring lines together for a number of years now. It's pretty much been a dynamic duo. Yeah. Well, they have certainly lost this game defensively. If you ask me, we've got another 28 minutes, 27 minutes and change. And um, Lloyd goes all the way back to Gomez, who's very good with his feet. We saw Gomez play a game at left back in the league as it's given away cheaply by Gomez. But he couldn't be made to pay. He thought he had more time because it's not the same player who's on the left wing now. The youngsters have a lot more energy. And a good effort there by Mika. Really, really good effort. Had that ball been dipping um, faster, might have had Gomez there in some trouble, but certainly got an eye for goal there in Connor. Special. Since it's one long and high upfield. And find Abbott. Out for a Lions throw. Throw looking up for Screechy Walker. It will find Walker now. Trying to go across to Mackay. Roscoe very composed, but he gives it away a bit cheaply here. And good defensive support for him as now Reed can get to running. And Reed is fast. It's, it's the man Reed. Kiroy Reed cutting back inside. And this one was a bit ahead of Joella Roscoe, who had gotten a bit adventurous. There's still some opportunities there. Christian, a bit too heavy for Walker. Still some opportunities there. I have chances that the... That the attackers are, are showing, but... Um, Going to find a Roscoe. Again, under pressure. Commits a foul. But Roscoe has not had the best time at right back at all today. That's what I was saying. They, they, they were not in tune and thinking that they could use that to their advantage in Lions as much as they should have. And um, pretty late stages into the game now. We still got. Maybe just a little more than a quarter of an hour to go, but they are certainly not they've certainly not given themselves every opportunity to exploit all the necessary weak areas. And didn't defend too well. And certainly rightly so. Three goals to the lead. Uh, 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 there's this gentleman. It says Sugar Bowl usually said all you need is that goal. Goal is what win matches, it's not position. <laughs> Precisely. Ball played towards the far post, headed back towards goal, cleared away. Still not quite dealt with, and now the attackers can, can come away with it. That's very good reading of the play. Jeffrey Harding says nothing but a coming together. Lloyd. Shifts it down the line to no one in particular. And now play will be stopped. A couple players yeah. are down for the attackers. 
not too sure why the coach is making noise, really. Two players challenging and, um, you know, that, that's football. <laughs> I'm not sure why the players are really complaining, actually. I didn't see anything malicious in, in what really went on there. But yeah, um, hopefully that the final will live up to its billing between these two teams closely. Um, in terms of the area practicing, I think most of the players will have known each other. And um, certainly Ducks will certainly be looking to say, well, yeah, we won $10,000 and the President's Cup. The attackers, on the other hand, will say, well, we certainly can do well with this. This, this um, $10,000 here might be able to pay some of our overseas players, um, keep them happy, and um, they have every chance, every opportunity. Well, you're not missing any action here. Player has been stopped for injury to the attackers. A man down receiving treatment. It was a collision between him and a Lions player. He's back on his feet now. I think he'll be forced to come off because uh, once the medics come onto the field, you have to go off before you can be called back on by uh, the referee. Booted upfield. <laughs> Here come the attackers. It's Beard. Beard still wins a free kick. Game has been has become a bit stop start. A lot of fouls, uh, very scrappy. It is still three goals to nil. As we enter the seventy-first minute of play, all three goals for the attackers coming in at the first half of play. Goals coming uh, from Hakeem Beard, Gaza Isaacs, and the man Kiroy Reed. Here comes the free kick. Could be dangerous here. Headed away. It will be a goal kick. It's a good effort there and a, a chance, actually. And it is fall to John. And um, we've got quite a number of players on the attacker's bench. Um, there's I guess they're not too comfortable with the substitute. You're leading three goals to nil. Uh, it's a little 19 minutes to go, plus injury time. And you are giving every effort to <laughs> the starting 11. <laughs> well, some pressure being applied here. But well done. Finds uh, Moore. Moore gives it away to Lloyd. Lloyd Lee back with Lloyd mm -hmm. 
That's good punish with throw, but that's good defending there by Ariel. Walker. Uprooted from behind, it will be a free kick. I haven't seen a lot of Kian though, as I would have thought in this game, was just there and there about. Um, it over the top and Randy Gomez will call it very easily Gaza Reid back to Gaza Gaza trying to go forward towards uh, Ricardo John McKay it's a very good touch Scrooge puts it a bit behind McKay corner out for a throw in Good play there from the youngster, there was Mikai, one-time pass, looking um, for the return pass, but <laughs> I can tell you he's one of those passionate players, hates to lose. <laughs> Almost definitely. Here's a Tariq, he can't get there ahead of Baird. Baird into John. John's had a pretty quiet game by his... Very high standards as well. It's going to find Screechy. Screechy. Screechy taken down. Wins a free kick. Like a card when they should root it as well. Look like he's struggling and can take a substitute. There is Rashid on the bed. They do have options. <laughs> good, turn, good turn to Rashim if he wants to. Yeah, I would want to think that they would think, well, we have we, we, could be, we should be able to defend three goals. <laughs> yeah, you, would you would hope so. <laughs> don't, want to, don't, want, don't want to have him out with injury for the final. Free kick taken pretty well. Uh, Gomez is a bit concerned. But in the end, it's harmless to wide for a goal kick. Looking uh, for Gaza with the goal kick. Picked up now by Tariq. It's going to find Screechy. Screechy. Doesn't quite have the pace to get past Lee, who did the defending there. And the result will be an attacker's goal kick. Screechy cannot believe it. <laughs> Absolutely furious. He shouldn't leave the ball. He should certainly bring the ball back in the field because he needs it. <laughs> you, you need the ball to score. You don't 3-0. Yes, exactly. I don't think the attackers will mind taking the extra time off the clock. And the thing is, there's still a lot of time in the game. <laughs> three minutes, three goals. <laughs> um, but... Was played at uh, Lake. They can't get the pass through. Picks it up yet again. The shift of the body. Got a 
midfield by Ariel to no one in particular. Again, Goal kick. That's a good pass here at all the end. Will be Lions who retain the possession. Good, uh, good take there by Christian. Pull down, free kick. Pull down there. I might have been Lee. Christian Williams uh, has played well since he's come onto the pitch. Yeah, he's, um, he's a very, really, a really light. Oh, and this might be some. This might be some issues here. This might be some issues here. This might be some problems uh, because uh, some frustration is boiling over for the attackers, and uh, you can't have that simply because you're up three goals to nil. That's going to be a yellow. Yeah. Yellow shown there. Look like Hakeem Beard. Yeah, I think this is, uh, I don't see. <laughs> I didn't see the need for him getting on like that in any case. He wasn't off the ball. <laughs> Absolutely no need. This one uh, floated in. Dealt with. Tackles can look to break. Still going, but gives away a free kick. <laughs> good work. It's going to find Mackay. Mackay, corner. Good save, Gomez. And his defenders were there to clear it away before Lions could get there. Like the Lions defenders. More. Trying to strength to scissors size this one in, force it in where it didn't belong. Good attempt there by Mikael, but and uh, like we would have said, um, good save by Gomez, but his defenders was right there to mop up <laughs> any spillage. One is laid off. He can have a shot now. Instead, it's a pass that's cut out, and Bear sends Lee. And Lee finds John. John goes wide with it. Has Yariel for company. John in for the one two with Gaza. John can't do much with that. Again, look at, look at the, you see the coverage. Now, Marvin is at the back. Um, Tafari is marking John, right? So you would want to get a little bit closer to Gaza and eliminate that opportunity, eliminate that pass. Had Gaza done better with that, um, that could have been some trouble there for the Rowing Lions. Hey, come Lions, a tussle for the ball, but they will win at the throw-in. They have not conceded in this half, but uh, damage was done in the first half. And they have not been able to at least trouble the score sheet there of the attacker's goal as well. It's a good ball. He can't find Jaden Abbott here. Jaden Abbott tried to put it back across. Could have, opt could have opted for a, a chip shot. They had to lob it over Randy Gomez. That's exactly what I would have done. Because Gomez was stuck in no man's land. Didn't know whether to come or to go. 
Lions so looking a lot more energetic. Giving away Lee. Straight back to the Lions. Shift over. Screechy can't do much and Gaza sends it as far as he possibly can. Hope he didn't hit my car back there. <laughs> he sent this one behind the stadium to the car parking area. I'm not sure <laughs> when I would have done that. <laughs> well, I think that's time wasting. <laughs> well, as long yeah. as new ball has to be brought on. Time wasting will be can be added on. <laughs> because I'm thinking if I was him, I would have controlled that and played back. I, I got three goals to nil up. And the more possession I have, the better it is for me. The more of the ball I can, I can have. Um, worse it for the Lions. We we'll see what. Maybe he kicked it for the sub. Then. Well, it's going to be Gaza who'll be the man replaced. Scored a goal today. Pretty good goal as well. Coming in at the end of a good cross by Javon Lloyd, and poking it home. To make to make it two goals to nil. Just too easy, Dave. Dave. <laughs> Substitution is still being made. Gaza is coming off the field of play. Looks like. Well. The man is Roy Finley. Come on to replace him. Be number 15. Falls at the back post. There could be a bit of trouble. It's down to the byline. Driven across and cleared. Certainly the difference there between the two teams in terms of their defending. Aside from those two opportunities and that half chance that was that was put wide by Keanu, I think the attackers have defended well enough in, in balls that were shot and goal or crossed. They've defended them pretty well. Corner. Abbott takes it. Falls to the back post here. Cleared away off the line. It will be another corner. But that's what you need. That's good defending, good protection of your goal. Yeah, they, they, they have defended. Defended pretty well so far. They're still defending, <laughs> even in this lead stage. Substitutes been made. Um, Sad Chadwick Samuels given an opportunity. Here come uh, the attackers. Play it back to Kiriel. Still go centrally. Time is just ticking away, winding down on uh, what should be a pretty comprehensive victory for the attackers. Yet another three goals and looking score line. Uh, so. 
Oleandre comes off his line to collect. He's had a good game today, Oleandre. Yeah, you can't fault him at all. Um, couldn't do anything about those strikes. Couldn't do anything. Nothing was on him. Made up well for the mistake he made in the last game versus uh, the uprising with the Paris Francis. Beat him from maybe 50 yards. Yeah. Poked out wide. Screechy doesn't quite have the legs to get there at this late stage of the game. Goal kick. Sub to be made now. It is uh, going to be for the Lions, Jaden okay. Abbott. And he will uh, be replaced by is uh, that Jackson? It looks like um, what's that? What's that? Bruno. Well, it is going to be Bruno. Yes, it is uh, going to be a young uh, Bruno Burgos. Youngster getting a run out. That's given away, but illegal there, says the referee. I yeah, don't have time, son, <laughs> so you'd want to kick it quickly. I would have slapped that and, and passed and kicked that a long time. Here is Yarrell again. Bruno gets his first touch. Played over the top. Well, uh, it's going to find. Looks like Kadeem Riley here. Riley. Riley has some more work to do. Tries to shift this one back. Can't find his intended target. Well, that's a good move there. Very good move there by the Lions. Can they do with it? Bruno. It's a good turn. Connor looking for Screechy. Roscoe as well. Bingley trying to get the touch there to Beard. Chip this one over the top now is Keanu. And Ricardo John will win the free kick because that's. Oh, he's not going to win the free kick because he bundled him over. Certainly a foul there. Sub again to be made for the Roaring Lions. On to the 90th minute of play. Don't know how much it will affect things. Uh, and it's, uh, it's going to be the end of the day. Was that Tyree? Was it Yariel? It's going to be the end of Yariel's day. the best in terms of the numbers and the glare on the screen looks like Yariel will be coming off did play a full 90 there yeah. is some time left that a time well I must say you, you have to give the attackers kudos they have uh, it looks like what <laughs> was it 8 minutes <laughs> been 8 minutes of at a time yeah, they, as so young Kelly Jackson has replaced him. Yeah, Tacos has really um, done all the hard work. They have scored three goals. If you would ask me, <laughs> you would say, well, the Lions have not done absolutely anything at all to give themselves a chance. Because had it been nil-nil, um, <laughs> they would have still had to play into extra time a penalty kick. So... They have not been able to struggle, um, trouble the, the, the score sheet uh, at all. And, um, uh, certainly, honors goes to the attackers for being the better team in terms of especially the goal scoring. 
effort tonight and they also they are defending as well as they really defended they really defended the lines very well uh, like I can mention I, I only could recall two opportunities that well, should have clearly been shots and goal or goal for the Roaring Lions. On the other hand, the attackers, they, they got four opportunities, four clear opportunities, took three of them, and um, good pass, good pass. And uh, Screechy, at least, I should have played Mika in, but going for glory. <laughs> yeah, and This game has gotten a lot more chippy, a lot more aggressive. Mackay. These youngsters have a really bright future. Christian, Mikai, those young guys, um, you know, they would have tasted defeat at the hands of the attackers the hard way, but you really can't fault them for their efforts here uh, playing against these guys they've really played well and you know given more and more opportunities will certainly stem uh being good stead for the future of the continuity not only of angular football of the Warren lions as well so it's good to <laughs> have the youngsters blooding now nice two pass is Mikai. Mikai wants some support, finds it in Screechy. Screechy didn't quite have the time he wanted to shoot. Went to start diving like a seal and will get nothing out of it. Yeah. There is nothing. I don't know why Screechy chooses to do that so often. He's such a good player, but he likes to flop around. Chadwick! Chadwick is in here! Chadwick Samuels has put a lovely bow on what has been a gift really for the attackers. They will waltz into the final with a very convincing performance here today. Well, it's way into injury time and consolation goal there. Well, not consolation goal, but... Um, Good goal there for Chadwick Samuel. And uh, yes, just um, cementing and compounding the misery for the Rowan Lions here tonight. Not being able to defend well, not being def uh, given the opportunity here to defend and to defend their goalkeeper. They have certainly been found wanting here this evening. And so. Fitting end to a fitting match here. The attackers taking all the spoil. Some four goals to nil in the finals. First one was in the first encounter. We saw where the Ducks overcome, overcame the, the Limas FC. And so to the attackers making light work of the Roaring Lions. Well, it appears as though it was actually eight minutes. Yes, I, I believe I may have saw it. For some reason, the goals may not be done quite yet. Four goals to nil.
Yes, so um, it's a matter of seconds here before we hear the final whistle of that of referee Kamal Harden Hodge. It's been the attackers, all attackers here this afternoon, and really. Taking charge of this second semi final. And certainly, Warren Lions not giving themselves any opportunity at all to um, get into this final. It's been very, very, very poor. And that's the end of the game. And, uh, all the attackers, ex 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 spectators, their attackers. Four goals to nil. Warren Lions didn't trouble the score sheet here. And so in the grand finale, it will be the attackers and the Ducks United. Um, you could say the uh, two better teams so far in this President's Cup. They will be playing for the grand prize of $10,000. Commiserations to the Warren Lions, but I... I I would think that the youngsters have a very, very bright future. Um, they have really showed themselves, um, showed themselves out here today. And um, they don't only have themselves to blame, not being this, they defend, didn't defend it too well and uh, uh, lost to the better team on the night. So we look forward to you on Sunday from at five o'clock with the finals attackers versus the Ducks United. I will miss that encounter because of previous engagements, but I will be certainly tuning in to see what the score will be. But um, congratulations to the attackers team and uh, their very resounding victory here this evening from Doc Brian and the Minuteman and the. PA system, we want to say thanks to you for joining us from AI Live until Sunday, God's willing. Do you have yourself a pleasant evening, morning, wherever you are watching the rest of the day. Over, back to Master Control. <laughs>